Keck Partnership Project Update Sir Keck Cost-efficient removal of contaminants of emerging concern in urban wastewater treatment plants. This one is transforming paracetamol to a transformation product, to aminophenol. That's why it's brown. And this one is, is removing paracetamol completely to CO2 and biomass. The main question here is, are bacteria able to degrade pharmaceuticals or not? If they are, uh, under which conditions? So we are trying to know if they are really not evolved. So then you, we cannot do anything. Maybe we need to add some chemical oxidation before, before degradation of the pharmaceuticals. However, if they are able to degrade them, but they are too slow, then maybe we can uh, combine adsorption with biodegradation because then the, the reaction time is extended. This is the easy one and it will help us understand how bacteria are organizing their genomes, Arden genes, in order to degrade new contaminants. One of them is paracetamol. And then uh, we will also try for diclofenac. They have to remove it completely, even if it's slow. So we would like to know if, it's, uh, if they are degrading it, even if it's slow. Because um, what we observe in wastewater treatment plants is that they are only partially transformed to other transformation products. And that's not what we want. We want to uh, find bacteria that really eat and degrade the pharmaceutical to CO2 and biomass. Here I'm taking a sample from the reactor. And you cannot see it, but this is uh, this turbidity in the medium means that there are bacteria growing. And these are a very, very, a very complex microbial community. And all of them are doing something with paracetamol. Not all of them, but uh, many of them are degrading paracetamol and incorporating it into their biomass and releasing CO2 in the process. So this is, uh, this is what we have to find to all of the other pharmaceuticals. <laughs> the aim is to get isolates. So we are trying to isolate these bacteria to study the differences between them. Also which genes, which exact enzymes are doing the, the job. Then we can uh, see that maybe they degrade also other pharmaceuticals with the same characteristics. When we need help in a project, we use uh, we ask students to, to join our project. They are usually looking for an internship to do in their master's or bachelor, and then we propose them some experiments that they can do in, in related to this topic, for example, and then they, they will help us, and at the same time, we will teach them how to work in the lab. I think there is enough unknowns to spend the rest of your life, yeah, working on this.